Okay, I had a couple things from the set fall down. <laughs> Starting it off right. <laughs> Hello, happy Sunday, everybody. Episode 47. Thanks for stopping in. The Keelys are in. Hello, the Keelys. Hello, John. Vida. Carl. Ruta. <laughs> Rini and Mike. Steve and Linda. And I know Donato and Rasa, I think they're in a car right now, so they might be watching on their phone or something like that, but they're coming back from the city, so. So, yeah. So anyway, I feel a lot more relaxed than I did last week because I prepared all day yesterday and a little bit today. <laughs> Hell, I was just in the garage playing Golden Tea, if you remember the game Golden Tea. I did, I did three rounds of 18 holes, and I won each one. <laughs> I was like, oh, you know, I'm doing okay this week. I'm ahead of the game. So the Spakes, everyone, thanks for tuning in to the crazy. <laughs> Hopefully everyone's week went well. Beautiful weather today, just absolutely stunning, yesterday and today. It was just wonderful. I mean, talk about spring sprung. I mean, it's spring really did sprung. <laughs> it was really great, so very, very cool. Then the Jacklins had uh, Jonathan's birthday yesterday, so that was really cool. So it was like, it, it, it sounded normal again. Everything sounded back to the bubble normal again. Everyone's having fun. <laughs> Chris already put up his lounge. I'm like, you're rolling the dice, dude. I still think we're going to get a snow. But I'm not putting up my lounge up just yet. I'm going to wait. <laughs> we'll see. I don't want to be the jinx. All of a sudden, I put, the, I, I put the roof on the lounge up, and then all of a sudden, you get the big snowfall that comes in April. So I'm going to wait a little bit. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so we got uh, Mixology at 8 o'clock as usual. Uh, we got uh, TV theme. We got a commercial, and they're going to be fun, and some really wacky songs, hopefully. So, <laughs> hopefully, we got some wacky songs. Yep, Donato Zanasa watching from the car. Hello! <laughs> All right. Anyways, so, yeah, not too much this week. It was, it was, it was pretty mellow week. It was, it was pretty mellow. Everything went, everything went smoothly this week, knock on wood. Everything went okay. So, so it wasn't too bad. Did, did some cleaning around the house, you know, just some basic catching up kind of adult stuff that I hate doing. <laughs> I'm not good at the adult thing. I'm, you, you all know me. You know that's true. <laughs> you know it's true. <laughs> anyway, enough of my jabbering. I'll show the guitar for, for this week. There was a toss-up between this one and another one. The other one I'm going to play next week. But it was a toss-up. So today's guitar. It's a Dan Electro, all right, and I got this from an old friend of mine. I bought it off of him. Um, it's, it just has a nice tone to it. It looks pretty. The thing that really caught my eye on it is I remember when Led Zeppelin uh, played, I think it was Nebworth or something like that. This was like uh, Jimmy Page played one of these, and I just remember, I remember uh, from that concert, I believe it was Nebworth, and I'm just like, wow, that's really cool. And then when my friend had the guitar, I'm like, it was under 200 bucks, you know, so it was, it was pretty cool. So, so I got it, you know, and I'm like, all right, you know, I never really played with this too much. It was just more kind of like sitting in the case. And now with the doing the Sunday night thing or whatever, I'm like, so I, I plugged this in this week and I'm like, wow, because I, I was actually going to play a different guitar than this. And I wasn't really happy with the way the sound was. And when I plug this thing in, it's real simple. I mean, it's just got two pickups and the volume and the treble knob. That's it. You know, so it's, it's, it's real simple, but. I don't know, you guys tell me, but I think the sound is going to be really good. But here, I'll show you what it looks like. Kind of, kind of retro, kind of, kind of retro kind of thing. But it sounds really nice, you know, it sounds nice. Here's, oh, that's what I did this week. Kicking room here. Look, I got kicking room. I did what Rasa told me to do. Rasa said, why don't you hang up your guitars in the basement wall? So I think she was referring to those, the wall where, where the drum kit is and stuff like that, which is still, I'm, I'm going to probably do that too. But I'm like, right in here, I, mean, I got two hooks. You can't see it. But I've got two guitars. My, my, my guildies hanging here. And I'm like, now I have all this room here. Maybe I will be able to do a little dance number at some point in the future. <laughs> There's room here. There's kicking room. <laughs> uh. 
Anyway, I just thought that was great. I, and I still think that was a great idea that Rasa said. And, and I got lucky enough. I went to Goodwill. I think it was, I'm thinking two weeks ago. And they had, like, like I, I, made the, I made a lot of guitar hooks and I have them upstairs, you know. But um, I also have, have bought some previously. Like, usually, like, on Black Friday, they would have sales on them and stuff. But otherwise, they're, like, 17, 20 bucks for, like, a guitar hook. I'm, look, I'm looking around Goodwill. And I look in this box, and I see these hooks. I'm like, wow, this would really make a very interesting... I go, I could probably use these as guitar hooks. Well, it turns out that they actually really were guitar hooks. You know what? I'll let, I'll let me show you, because I got the bag down here. Hang on. I know. I was supposed to not yap. The important part is the price. <laughs> they were two bucks a piece. <laughs> two bucks. So I bought... <laughs> So I bought 10 of them. They're $1.99. Nobody knew what these things were. It was just, it was like in the hardware section or something like that, which again, the untrained eye would probably put it there. It was like, oh, these look, just look like hardware hooks or something, you know, but no, man, they're like legit. And I looked them up on the internet. They're going between like 15 to 20 bucks a piece. <laughs> so I'm like, so I'll be able to put some more on that side of the wall too, but I needed it in here. So it really... It really gave me a lot of room to roam here now, so I, I can move around much better instead of tripping and swearing all the time. <laughs> Back here. All right. Now I shut up. Hello, Jack O'Donnell. You only get one song? Oh, so, okay. I'll, I'll pick a good one. Jack's like, you better pick the... He goes, first hour, he goes, you better pick some good songs. I'm always trying to pick some good songs. <laughs> All right. End up in my yapping. Here's today, Paquetas, the packet. I got some zingers in here. I, I, I got some curveballs. I got one for Jenny, for sure. For sure, man. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for thanks for being here, and hopefully, I will do a good job. Love the one you with. Love the one you with. 
What an awesome song. I, have, I wanted to do that song like weeks ago. <laughs> Somehow it didn't work out, and I'm just like, no, nah, I gotta do it today. So I had the time to work on it yesterday. Yay! <laughs> Steven Stills. I forgot to change your background. Look at me. Dummy me. Hang on. I got some good backgrounds. This one just cracks me up because that cat just cold cocks the other cat. <laughs> He's got little boxing gloves on. <laughs> All right. Yeah. How about, uh, yeah, we could try this. We'll try this. Okay. This is uh, this is this was cut from uh, the show from a few weeks ago. So hopefully I can get away with it. There was, Eric? you got to be kidding me. A fire at the Goodwill? That's like, between that and Lombard, those are like the two best Goodwills on the planet. Are they okay? Did any, what happened over there? I didn't hear anything about that. It's been, it's been a couple, it's been a few days since I've been down in that, in that part of town. Snakes. Maybe they're having a fire sale. Should I, is it too soon I say something like that? Go back Go in back time. time. Get you up there when the air is 
I didn't. I I excluded that one for some reason. This the bridge part. I don't like. I don't think. That's why I didn't play the bridge anymore. The bridge part just doesn't sound right. Like whatever I looked up, I'm just like I don't know, man. But you just play the good stuff, you know. Too much crap. You just stick stick with what you know. Stick with come fly with me. Don't mess with this bridge crap. Forget it. Forget about it. Oh, it was in the sorting room. All right. All right. Should I try? Hey, maybe I'll switch up the background. Although this is pretty funny. I might change up the background. I'm going to get a little hyper with backgrounds today. <laughs> now, now that I have room, I can actually get out of here and so it's not a hassle, you know? It's like So much easier. I got a fever, and the only thing that's going to extinguish it is more cowbell. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Heads up, Jenny. She could see me by that dream. She 
He's making good, he's not dreaming. See the lights of neighbor's house. He's starting to rise. Take a minute, concentrate and see. Opens up her eyes. The world's moving and crazy it was as he was. The world's moving, she was growing. The world was moving, she was right there with me, then she was. The world was moving, and she floated and floated, and she was. And she was. The world was moving. And she was ripping through the backyard And she was taking all the dress And she was moving very slowly Rising above the earth Moving into the universe And she's lifting the brain down Not that this is ground at all She's more of the yard The world was moving she was rather than she was. The world was moving, she was floating above it, and she was. And she was. The world was moving, she was Don't tell me think about it. Don't tell me about it. Tell them. Don't tell me about the cheese doll and she was. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Woo! And she was looking at herself. And things were looking like a movie. She had a pleasant notion She's moving out in all directions Hey, hey, hey Joining the world of missing lessons that she was The singing of the beat of pride that she was And she was And she was And she was, and she was. 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 I've been promising Kenny another Talking Heads song for weeks, months. And I'm like, which one am I going to play? Because there's another one I had queued up. And I, I never was sure about the cadence of how to do it. And I'm like, and this is kind of one of these tricky, like, I don't know if I call them kumbaya chords or whatever. But it's just like a circular. So one false slip. Cause it's it's like a pattern. One falls slip, and then all of a sudden, whoop! The whole song goes. So it's like I was, so I was kind of really trying to concentrate on it. It's kind of like a tongue twister, but but yeah. Hope you like it, Danny. <laughs> Is that true, Eric? <laughs> hello, Candlelight. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Aha. Well, Candle and stick around for it. Not this song, but you know what? Maybe I should do the next song. <laughs> it'll it'll tie in. <laughs> You'll understand, Candle. This is gonna tie in with Danny and Barb show. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Fix everyone. We're gonna slow it down a little bit. <laughs> See if I can get away with this. I had this plan for weeks. Strings like Last time when I need love, 
one part <laughs> I needed a cough man you don't cough you don't get off man ah the controversy begins Richard and Catalan <laughs> no seriously I, I want when I listen when I sign on as Donatus and I watch um, the Danny and Barb show downstairs the, the computer that's actually filming me right now it's always glitchy like it's always glitchy you know, so that's why I go to the upstairs computer and I sign on as Utha, so then it's like, so at least I could see it in real time. So I was barely hearing any, like anything Barb was whistling. It was just really weird because it was choppy, like like it would cut out, like she'd be like a whistle a line. But I just know this song for so long, and it's like I heard the two things together. And I'm like, it can't be. I just I kind of threw it up as a joke, you know, because I'm like, it sure sounds like the Leo Sayer song that I wanted to, and it turned out to be. <laughs> I did a nice acceptance speech, though. Richard egged me on on that. <laughs> Could blame him. Ah, Eric was the first one to notice the rhino stand. Yep. And Danny's in the house. All right, let's just explain. I just did Barb's whistle song, Danny. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's true. I really, I really have this on the schedule. It's like... I'm going to try and do a ska version of this song. <laughs> That's funny, Candlelight. <laughs> That's a hard one to sing, Danny. That's like he goes really way up in range up there. Which, by the way, Candlelight and, and Richard were in uh, Johnny Burnett show. We were watching it. My God, it was wonderful. You guys did great. It was really good. Actually, um... Uh, my brothers in Saddle were watching that, too. Uh, they just commented today, like, Sean was just like, oh, yeah, we were watching, you know, Candlelight with Johnny and, and stuff. So, yeah, good job, you guys. That's awesome. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know I can dance. You know I can dance. I can dance. See, there's no way I could hit that. There's no way. <laughs> that I was actually surprised I was able to hit that stuff. <laughs> I, like, I love Leo Sayer. My cousin Otis... I remember, like, one of his very first albums that he got was the Leo Sayer, the one where Leo Sayer's doing the leg splits in the air or whatever. So I associate Leo Sayer with him. That's what I say. Oh, my goodness, it's 739. Come on now, come on. All right, let's, let's, I'm going to shut up now. Okay, let's do a ska version and see if I can get away with this.
everybody needs a second chance. Oh, oh, oh. You want a piece of my heart? Better stop from the start. You want to be in the show? Come on, baby, let's go. Looking to see if it was you Everyone wants you to come through Everyone's open in a lot of Everyone's waiting and holding out Everybody's working for the weekend Everybody wants a new romance Everybody's going off the deep end Everybody needs a second chance Oh, oh you want a piece of my heart? You better stop from the start You wanna be in the show? Come on, baby, let's go! Oh, yeah. You want a piece of my heart? Better stop from the start. Want a piece of the show? Come on, baby, let's go! Everybody's working for the weekend Everyone wants a new romance Everybody's going off the deep end Everybody needs a second chance Oh, you want a piece of my heart? Stop at the start Wanna be in the show? I'm all ready to go. That was really totally Barb. Totally. It was really weird. <laughs> That's Christopher Walken, yes, for the famous scene, I Need More Cowbell. <laughs> and I needed more cowbell on this song. It actually, the first line on my sheet music says cowbell, 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 but I didn't know I was going to do it, Scott. <laughs> Let's see where we go next. I have fun. Ooh, that might be kind of fun. Okay, we're going to save that for the second hour. Oh, we could get all moody. Yeah, we could go this route. Oh, yeah, this is a fun song, too. I got a lot of crazy shit. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, you know what? No, see? Okay, yeah, let's have a boy. There's a a lot of... I I need to stop talking. I got to change that background. Telling you now. Ugh. Okay, what's coming up? That could be kind of fun. All right. 
I'm going to have to get a little psychedelic now. I should have put the damn psychedelic background on. You know, let me put the trippy back on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I was all excited about the Star Wars one. Don't have it in here. There we go. That's right, Ruth, I should have worn that uh, the headband that Janet gave me. <laughs> the, the lover boy, the rock star headband, I should have worn that for that. <laughs> Damn right. All right. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Ah, oh, these next two songs ought to take us straight into mixology. Okay. Snakes, everybody. Sounds like this. Two chords. <laughs> well, something, something fell. That was that. Okay, I know what I know. Okay, I know what I know. You're pushing too hard, pushing on me. Pushing too hard, what you want me to be? You're pushing too hard by the things you say. You're pushing too hard every night and day. You're pushing too hard, pushing too hard. Don't oh, be too hard. Well, all I want is just to be free. Live my life the way I want to be. All I want is just have fun Live my life like it just be good You're pushing too hard, pushing too hard I'll be too hard <laughs> This is the girl, what I'm telling you You better listen girl, or we are through You better stop all your fooling around Stop your running all the town Push it too hard, push it too hard Oh, me too hard Got a fish in the sea. I know so, but see by me. If you don't, then I'm gonna try. You gotta ask yourself the reason why. Cause you're pushing too hard, pushing too hard. Oh, be too hard. You're pushing too hard, pushing on me. You're pushing too hard, what you want me to be. You're pushing too hard by the things you say. You're pushing too hard every night and day. You're pushing too hard, pushing too hard. Oh, be too hard. But I know that this is the sea. I know some will stay by me. If you don't think I'm gonna cry, then ask yourself the reason why. Cause you're pushing too hard, pushing too hard. Oh, me too hard. You're pushing too hard, pushing too hard. Oh, me too hard. Pushing too hard. Push it 
you have, will you have, for me to have? I was pushing myself too hard there. You know, <laughs> we were watching, uh, what's that, uh, it was some sort of like 60s YouTube thing or something like that, and the seats came up, and I'm like, oh my God, I forgot how much I love this song, and I love it even more, two chords, B minor and A, that's it, that's the whole song, that's all you need, you don't need all these fancy chords, that's dumb. <laughs> You got the disco ball? So you, you know I got the disco ball, Catelyn. <laughs> yeah, I would say that, Eric. It could be the first punk song. Glad you like it, John. <laughs> you know, Catelyn, I, I think I might have used that little baby disco ball maybe once, like when I played like a long time ago in like a cover band. I think I had it on the top of an amplifier or something like that. But um, I, I actually, it works. I could turn it on, but I'm just worried that the microphone might pick it up because it, it, it spins and it's got like little lights on it or whatever. Because I wanted to open, I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be some sound issue or something. But I'll turn it on if it doesn't sound like anything weird. It'll be cool. Well, let's like, let's let's stay in the same vein. This is a song I've been trying to figure out for years. <clears throat> Every time I look up the cheat music and stuff like that, it's always some kind of weird blah, blah, blah. And I was, I was really studying it yesterday. I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, you chop this off. You chop that seven off. Take off the seven here. Get rid of the minor here. You know, do this, do that, you know. And I'm like, yes. Now I, I, think, I think I'll be able to get away with this. You don't need all those fancy E minor sevens. And, no, you don't need that. You know, you just. So, because I was always afraid of this song. So, oh my God. Oh, I need barkeep. Mm -mm -mm. Barkeep. Today. <laughs> Keith Richards' favorite, Rebel Yell. And like Billy Idol. Thank you, barkeep. A generous pork, please. Barkeep, I didn't know you knew how to play cello. That's very nice. Thank you, Barkeep. A hearty spakes. Wish me luck for this one. This is a big song. Like, this is big. <laughs> oh, yes. Matt Wenzel. There is the Halfway Fest to Beatles fans. Um, it's coming up uh, Saturday with the 27th. And it's going to be an all-day thing. It's, it's, it's a semi-tribute to Matt. Matt used to do this Halfway to Beatles Fest party at his house. And uh, Matt unfortunately passed away. I think I mentioned this last week. If it wasn't for Matt, none of us would be doing any of these kind of silly shows. You know, it's like it's, it's just one of those things. And um, anyway, yeah, I don't think, if you, yeah, you probably got more information there. It's probably easier for you. But yeah, I know Steve and Linda are playing, Candlin and Richard are playing. I know uh, Danny and Barb uh, that kick it off. I, I'll be on there, and I know Carl's going to Carl's gonna be on with me at 6 o'clock. Um, yeah, it's going to be uh, an all-day thingy, so it's, it's going to be cool. Actually, Lawrence Juber from Paul McCartney and Wings is going to be in this. So if you go to... Now, one of you guys will know that. You know I'm not into Facebook. I don't know Facebook. So it's like the Halfway to Fest Facebook page or something like that. And uh, it, it would be really cool. But I, again, Lawrence Juber from McCartney and Wings is going to, he's going to do a half an hour. I'm like, that's crazy. And then Big D, of course. Big D is going to close her, close her out. Um, uh, Shannon, I believe, is going to be doing some stuff. I, I'm trying to remember now because I know... I, I, I know I got the sheet. Linda sent me the sheet of like who's playing or whatever, but I'm sure you guys are all on Facebook. You, you'd probably find it a lot easier. But yeah, I, I definitely want to mention that. So anyway, so that's the 27th. All right. 
And I said, Donato's finally home. <laughs> Alright, enough of my yapping. This is definitely going to take us into mixology, maybe even a little after. Sphinx. That's his uncle, and I and it's funny because I worked with him at Rose Records, like back in like eighty nine or ninety. So me and Russell go back a long way, and and he goes, oh, my uncle's coming in. So like, here comes Uncle Jimmy. He comes walking into Rose Records, so he would buy he would buy product from us and stuff, you know. And I didn't really have a clear vision of who he really was. And he's like, well, you know that song Vehicle. He's like, he sings that and he wrote that song. I'm like, what? You know, so so. I've known, Jim, I, I call him Uncle Jimmy as well because, like, Russ always calls him Uncle Jimmy. So I'm like, it's hard for me to say Jimmy Peterick, you know, but Jimmy Peterick is, like, world-renowned musician and toured with Led Zeppelin. He was in, he's in Survivor. He wrote Eye of the Tiger. I know this guy. <laughs> like, Jimmy knows who I am. It's my friend's uncle. So I'm like, so, so for a while I'm like, damn it, I want to do, I want to do vehicles so bad. And like, like, for the last year or so, I mean, I've been tooling around all these... And I'm like, wait a minute. Let me do a couple little additions here and there and a little subtractions here. I think it came out pretty good. <laughs> so I just love that song, and I love 
I love Jimmy, I love Russ, I love all you guys. So, But now, holy crap, it took us right. I was, I was, I was hoping you'd catch that, Steve. <laughs> I was hoping someone was gonna. I was hoping someone would catch that. All right, first let me set up what the next song is going to be. Okay, that might be the one. Oh, yeah, that would be good. I have some epic songs tonight. Oh, crap, that's right. We got... Oh, yeah, we... Okay, you know what? Enough of, enough of me. Enough of me. There's a lot of work to be done here. I want you guys to hear all this stuff tonight. <laughs> it's really good stuff. But it's mixology, for goodness sakes. <laughs> Heck, I'm thinking it's easier to put the guitar here. <laughs> Since I got room. Well, got a snafu. There we go. Okay. So, all right, where did it go? Aha. Okay. Yeah. There we go. There we are. My goodness. That didn't take too long. All right. So tonight's drink, it's going to be pretty simple. The rum Manhattan. It's basically a Manhattan. We're not using bourbon. We're just going to use rum. That's about it. But it, it'll be simple, simple pimple. You can use any rum you want. I bought some kind of weird, like, Bacardi spiced rum or something like that. It was on sale, so I'm going to use that. So, All right. Fancy glassy. That is fancy. Okay. You could probably get a Goodwill. Speaking of, maybe, maybe the glass didn't burn up, hopefully. So, two ounces of whatever rum you want. Doesn't matter. And now, with this, you don't put it in a shaker, okay? This is kind of James Bond kind of stuff. So, you put in got your glass with, with ice, okay? And then. An ounce of sweet vermouth. It's like the red vermouth. Not the dry stuff, but just the red one. So it's, it's an ounce of that. Got that in there. Okay. And in my trusty pocket, the old trusty bitters. A couple dashes. Two, three. There we go. All right. 
Whoa, can't have that. Okay, then you get your fancy bar mixing spoon, okay? And then you stir, not shaken, but stirred. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 times. No more, no less. Get your strainer. Okay, and to get real fancy, whoa, take it easy there, a nice, well, it's hard to see because the green screen's picking up, it's, it's an it's a orange, a, a orange peel, so I do a little squeezy squeeze in there, get some of the, some of the earl out there, some of the earl, you know, and then you can like kind of spin it around, and then, and there you go, you see. Let's test it out. Let's kick the tires. Wow. Let me tell you, putting that, like, if you take the orange peel and you give it the little squeeze, that really puts it over the top. It's really, really, wow. Okay. Delicious. Okay, hang on. This is going to be a little bit of finesse here. Hang on. I don't want everything crashing here. All right. As usual, got to wash my hands. Can't stand sticky. All right. Dollar G. Easy to see. Expensive rum. I think I paid like 10 bucks for the bottle of the rum, but 30 spins. No more, no less. <laughs> the rule. If you're gonna make it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's got a little orangey taste to it. Wow. So I made lockies this week. <laughs> I'm very good. I'm actually a pretty good cook. But um I normally make potato pancakes, and I have a certain way of how I make potato pancakes. And they, they come out, like, they, they look pretty good, you know, kind of brown, kind of gray, whatever it is. But it's a traditional potato pancake. But I always wanted something looking more fluffy or crispy or something like that. So I looked up this uh, recipe. Oh, my God, it came out great. you got to put, like, a little half inch of oil or maybe an inch of oil. You get that hot, and then... You grind, you don't you don't use the grating side of the like the the grating box. You have to use the shredder part. And I, I did very finely shredded, very finely shredded. 
So potatoes, onions, eggs, flour, uh, baking soda. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a little salt, a little pepper, and then you form balls, and then you put it in the hot oil, and then you give it a little smush. Oh, man. <laughs> it's really good. It was really good. Anyway, I'm not doing any cooking segments on, on this show. <laughs> Although it wouldn't be a bad idea, but I'd have to have a hot plate, and it's just going to get all messy. I'll stick with the drinks. Yeah. That's right, Rainy. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> Really had my pizza. Damn it. <laughs> really, Vizza? Well, next time I see you, you know what? I, I, I can't ship you potato pancakes. I, I, if I could, I would ship you my potato pancakes because they're really good. I can send you the recipe, though. I'll send you my recipe. You sent me recipes, so. <laughs> All right. Enough talk. Thanks, thanks everyone, for sticking around. If I get away with this. Let's tune up. Tune up. Tune up. Of course my course tuner's my off. off. Why? 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 Of course, why wouldn't this tuner work either? Alright, give me, give me, give me a half a half. Hang on, hang on. Much better. Much better. I don't have to remember a little tuner. It must have I bet it's like popped off hard enough. Fix, 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 fix. Passenger And I ride and I ride I ride through the city back streets I see the stars come out of the sky Yeah, in the bright and hollow sky You know it looks so good tonight Passenger, I see on the glass. I look through my window so bright. I see the stars come out at night. I see the bright and hollow sky over the city ripping sky. Everything looks so good tonight. Right. He looks through his window 
and what does he see? He sees the bright and hollow sky. He sees the stars go out at night. He sees the cities with black skies. He sees the winding ocean drive. And everything was made for you and me. All of it was made for you and me. He is a passenger He sees me from under glass He looks through his window side He sees things he knows are his He sees a bright and hollow sky He sees the city sleeping at night He sees the stars are out at night All of it is yours and mine All of it is yours and mine so let's ride and let's ride. So let's ride and let's ride. Yeah! Go! La 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 to John yesterday and both of us were like how quickly this these two hours go at least for him and for me it's like holy moly I'm like I'm like I'm running to stand still man I'm like holy crap <laughs> okay this will be fun let's try this and then and then oh man I got some epic shit going on okay I'm gonna shut up okay <laughs> that's right Ruta I've got that version too. That's right. Either Chris is lighting off fire fireworks next door or someone else in our block is lighting off fireworks. <laughs> I hear something going on back here. <laughs> 
If you stop me up, stop me up. If you stop me up, I'll never stop it up. If you stop me up, stop me up. If you stop me up, I'll never stop it up. I've been running hard, running hard. You got me thinking it's gonna blow my time. If you stop me up, stop me up. If you stop me up, I'll never stop it Make a grown man cry, cry. Make a grown man cry, cry. Make a grown man cry, cry. Make a grown man cry. You can stop me up, stop me up. You gotta start to do it all you got. I'll take a peek, take a peek with the rider in the other hand. If you rub it up, rub it up. If you like it, you can slide it up. Slide it up. You make grown men cry, cry. Make grown men cry, cry. Make grown men cry, cry. Make grown men cry. If you stop me up, I'll never stop. If you stop me up, stop me up. If you stop me up, I'll never stop. I've been running high, running high. You got me thinking gonna blow my top. If you stop me up, stop me up. If you stop me up, I'll never stop. If you stop me up, stop me up. If you stop me up, I'll never stop. You make the dead man come, come. You make the dead man come, come. You make the dead man come, come. Eric the Folksman. <laughs> I figured you'd catch it. Man, I, I heard that the other day. I almost shit my pants, man. Like, oh my God, I forgot about this. <laughs> That's right, Carl. <laughs> Carl and Eric. Photo finish. <laughs> Start me up. Start me up. <laughs> I was... I went on this Spinal Tap kick on YouTube this week in my in my Bourbon Dreams, and uh, and all of a sudden some of the folksmen started coming into the feed, and I'm like, oh, that's what I saw. I go, I'm like, shit, man, I'm totally doing this on Sunday. <laughs> Those guys were ultimate geniuses. Christopher Guest, Michael McKeon, Harry Shear. I met all three of them. I met them at Spinal Tap. Spinal Tap played. It was uh, at the audit. Wait, uh, not the auditorium. It was a, a Riviera. I think it was at the Riviera. And it's when Break Like the Wind came out. I was still working at the record store. And my friend Colleen, since they were on Geffen Records, you know, she got me, uh, not only did she give me a pair of tickets to get in, but she got me backstage passes to actually meet them. And it was very interesting because Michael McKeon, you know, was is still in character. And so was Christopher Guest, like Ni uh, Nigel. You know, they stayed in their British characters. But then I saw Harry Shearer, and like they all had their outfits on. Harry Shearer was like, hey, man, how you doing? Hey, great, I'm glad you could be here. He's like, I mean, they were all nice, but but the other two are definitely, like, keeping in character. It was, like, really a pretty amazing thing. So <clears throat> it was very interesting to meet those people because <clears throat> you're not just meeting Spinal Tap. You're meeting, like, everyone from the Simpsons world. You're meeting people from the Ver Laverne and Shirley, from National Lampoon, from Saturday Night Live. It was a, it was one of the true honors that... that that I had in my life. I mean, that, those were heavy hitters to meet them. And I have their autographs, but they're autographed as Spinal Tap, but it, it was really interesting to see them. So anyway, so that's how I came across the Folksman. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks, John. I didn't know yet, because I'm like, I'm like, here in fire, like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> 
Let's see if I can get away with this. This is this is this is a very oddball song. This might need maybe some accoutrements, maybe. Fun. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for sticking around. Oh my gosh, there's still a commercial and there's still a TV theme. I think you can figure out what the TV theme is going to be tonight, but you don't know what the commercial is going to be. We were at a policy meeting We were back to ways and cheating I don't want to rock your boat You sent this dangerous note You've been letting your meal and show Are you safe, Mr. Tango? Mr. Tango, are you safe? Is anybody alive in here? Anybody? Anybody love in here? Nobody but us. Nobody but us. Anybody love in here? Nobody but us. Yeah, you're the one who You're much too alive in this. Are you safe, Miss Cridango? Miss Cridango, are you safe? Are you safe, Miss Cridango? Miss Cridango, are you safe? Anybody alive in here? Anybody alive in here? Anybody alive in here? Nobody but us. Nobody but us. Anybody alive in here? Anybody alive in here? Nobody but us, nobody but us, anybody alive in here, nobody but us. Bubble plastic. I always had a tube. All right. You know what? It might be time for the commercial. Then. Let's do a commercial. The time is just going so quick. Oh my god! I have so many more epic songs I gotta play. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Let's do a commercial. Then I'll do that. Oh my goodness. My goodness gracious. Okay. Then we'll do that. Okay. Commercial time. Sit that smooth roast 
and cry the best to respect The best part of waking up is roses in your cup The best part of waking up is roses in your cup hey! Your whole team can see your upper thigh Pour that smooth roast And aim that camera up high The best part of waking up Is soldiers in your cup The best part of waking up Is soldiers in your cup Sit that smooth roast. Try your best not to snap. The best part of waking up. Roses in your cup. The best part of waking up. Is roses in your cup. The best part of waking up. Roses in your cup. The best part of waking up. Is in your cup. <laughs> I've been working on the Folgers one for a few weeks. I finally got the lyrics I needed. <laughs> Peter Brady is behind me, Eric. I, I, he, he's, I, I think he's... Wait. I wait. Here? Somewhere. I'm blocking him. You're blocking... All right, moving on. Moving on. We will do the theme. You already know what it is, let's say. You know, it's funny. I have not, I love this guitar. I love the tone of, I, I have not changed, I have not changed one, if you've noticed, not one setting on here. I don't know how it's sounding on your end, but boy, it sure just sounds, sounds exactly where I want it. You know, it just sounds really good. We're going to get out of the 70s and 80s and I think the 90s. <laughs> I think we could be in the 2000s with this one. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. Time's going to shine as bright as you. I swear it's true. Hey, Delilah, don't you worry about the distance. Right there, if you get lonely, give this song another listen. Close your eyes. Get down the bush in disguise. I'm by your side. Everyone knows this part. Oh, what you do to me? 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 What you do to me? Get hard, believe me, girls, someday I'll pay the bills. Get this guitar, it'll be good. We'll have the life we knew we would. My word is good. 
I have the same delusions as this writer. I have the same delusions. Eat a ball in love, we be ball. We have it all. Come on, everybody. Oh, what you do to me? 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 Thousand miles to the bar, but plane and crazy cars. I'd walk to you if I go other way. I'll break the make all the birds and we'll just travel on the earth. We don't have another thing, have no display. Till I can't promise you that by the time we get through, the world will never be the same. And you're the brain. In a Delilah, you need to don't miss me. Twenty years you've been with school, and I'll be making history like I do. You know it's all because of you. We can do whatever we want to. In a Delilah, here's to you. This one's for you. Shit, man, I love that song so much. I've been wanting to play this song for years. <laughs> I did my homework yesterday. I did. <laughs> hello, John Dawson. Hello, hello. Get this over with. And then I'll change the background. What you do to me? Oh, oh my God, I love that song. And they're homegrown. The plain white tees, homegrown. And they made it. That guy wrote it in the lyrics and it happened. <laughs> It was bringing up three very lovely girls All of them in their cold Like their mother The youngest one in girls Here's the story Of a man named Brady Who was busy with three boys of his own They were four men living all together They were all alone Till that one morning And they met the fellow they knew it was much more than a hunt. This group was somehow from a family. That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. That's the way we became the Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. That's the way we became the Brady Bunch. Da 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 da
The Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch, that's the way we became. The Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch, that's the way we became. That's the way we became. That's the way we became. The Brady Bunch. Change the background. <laughs> okay. What else have I got? Definitely got to do this one. Oh shit, man. Gotta do. Yeah, okay. I got two more epic ones. Okay, I'm gonna do this one, and I'm gonna close out with the other epic. Cause that's how it's looking. <laughs> I gotta change the background though. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, let's see. Who's next? Oh, well, maybe now I can do that. That might be good. Oh, that's a good one. That's a nice one. All right, see if I can get away with this one. <laughs> it's maybe getting greedy. Snakes are up there. Is there a canopy in store? 
tap into there. I always love that song. Again, it's these minor chords that they have. It just sounds sinister and sad and beautiful. All beautiful. Alright, here comes another. I'm going to tackle another big one. I don't know why. I, I should be. I, I've got Yummy 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 by the Archies next, but I'm going to tackle this one. <laughs> I might as well just completely punch myself twice. Fiddler stuff ain't easy to do. <laughs> Fiddler ain't easy. <laughs> Karen, hello! <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for sticking around. Winding her down. Turn me to 
right, John? I, I love that song. Reedy, I didn't know that. Really? That was one of your favorite songs, Reedy? I hope I did it justice. I love playing it. That's another song I've been wanting to play for years. But my God! 858! It's time for the Carol Burnett song! Oh, crap! I think I got everything. I got all the big guys. Yeah, wait, let me look. Yeah, I got all the big guys out of the way. Everything I wanted to do tonight, I did. It timed out perfectly. Hey, let me change your background. <laughs> I'm getting closer, closer, closer. Ow. I knew that was going to, you know what? Okay, Rhino guy. <laughs> My disco ball gone. I knew those guys were going to come down. <laughs> He's on a delicate balancing act. <laughs> okay. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Bloop. There's tiger eyes. Okay. 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 Uh, oh, there we go. Bump, bump, bump. There we are. Okay. All right. All right, here's the theme song of the night. Fire away, kiss. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming. Here's a big Sphakes. Achoo, Sphakes. I love all of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sunday nights are just such fun. I, I can't wait till we do it in the backyard and we could we could we could broadcast and 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 do the virtual variety show in the yard or the garage or whatever, but. But thanks again, you guys. I Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I love you all. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. It's going to be 48. God willing. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <clears throat> Have a good week, everybody. Stay safe, please. It's supposed to be in the 60s all week, so it could be a lot of garage, a lot of garage activity this week, I'm thinking. All right. Oh, yeah, and then tune in, I think, the 27th. We need to put all the information up about the Matt's halfway to Beetle Fest party and stuff. So you can see all of us will we're all gonna perform and stuff like that. So it'll, it'll be fun. <clears throat> I won't have the backgrounds or anything like that because it's gonna have to be in the garage. A whole different I, it has to be through Facebook, but that's technical stuff. But anyway, you guys have a great week. I hope you like this guy. And man, I'm using this guitar more. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> I didn't change one setting in here. I loved all the settings in here. <laughs>
Fire quick, kiss, kiss, snakes. Have a great week. Great week. Great week. Great too to hang out. So, anyway, have a great night, everybody.